What's going on everybody? This is your boy Mike from Trouble Down Productions and NerdFeed.com and in this episode we're going to be talking about The Walking Dead Season 6 Episode 9 entitled No Way Out. But let's go ahead and talk about some of the things that we do know. We do know for number one is coming back February 14th which is less than two weeks away which is awesome. I'm stoked. Now, the second thing we also know is that the episode is indeed called No Way Out. Now, No Way Out is a story arc from the comics and if you haven't read the comics or don't know anything about No Way Out and you want to just get kind of a filler in info, uh, you can check out my video. I will put the link in the description below. I did a video comic to TV comparison of the, the story arc. Now I know they have used uh, comic titles in the TV series episode titles before. But I don't think, maybe once, I don't think they've, they've ever, but maybe once, used uh, the, the exact titles for the exact timelines of the comic and TV series. So this will be like either the first or second time that they've done that. So that tells me that they're probably, this episode is probably going to follow the No Way Out comic <clears throat> series to a T. Now in this story arc, you had a lot of people that died. You had Bruce, Tobin, Jesse, Ron, Morgan... And Douglas Monroe, who was the head of Alexandria, what Deanna was doing in the TV show. So, and and you also had Carl get his eye blown out in the process of everything. So, it was really a huge story arc in the comics. And I really feel like, especially from where we was left off with them all holding hands coming out of the house, which is an exact adaptation of the comic series when they, when they did it in the comic series. So, I really feel like they're going to follow really close to what happened in the comic series. So in the comic series, since Douglas was firing off wild shots at Walker's and accidentally hit Carl, and we know in the TV series, Deanna is already dead, I'm thinking, because we've got the wolf coming out with uh, Denise, and we've also, which, you know, he's got a gun, and then also uh, Jesse's got a gun as well. And a lot of people think Ron is going to be the one that shoots Carl's eye out. It could be possible Ron don't have a gun, but while Sam gets his li into his little kick of yelling mom, and then I think one of the walkers is going to attack him, and Jesse's going to go down to save him, and she's going to be holding on to Carl, and Rick is going to come and chop Jesse's arm off, just like in the comics. So I think that whole scene, but because, but because Ron is the wild card in this whole thing, uh, I think is a big reason that people think he's going to be the one to shoot Carl's eye out. But honestly, I think it's going to be the wolf that does it. I think the wolf is going to start getting attacked by walkers and he's going to start firing off shots, you know, just wild shots everywhere. And it's one of them's accidentally going to hit Carl. That's what I think is going to happen. And now that I'm thinking of it, 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 it was also like one of the horses in the comics uh, possibly die. I don't think we 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 really figured out if it died or not. Um, but I'm thinking now with that picture that we seen with Morgan on the horse, that kind of symbolized because Morgan and the horse possibly you know Morgan definitely died in the comics and then the horse probably died. So that picture just kind of to me symbolizes that Morgan might go this episode. I definitely wouldn't bank on that though. I don't I don't expect Morgan to go this episode. It's just it's just a fun little theory to play with because it just it, you know it's kind of a kickback to the comics. So that's pretty cool. I really don't see Ron grabbing Jesse's gun after she goes down by getting eaten, you know, because I mean there were some spoilers out there that said that they were gonna go down, Ron was gonna get pissed off because Rick chops Jesse's arm off and then Ron's gonna shoot Carl in the eye. Or, or try to shoot Rick and Carl's going to jump in the way. I don't really think that's going to happen. It could happen like that, but I think it's going to be the wolf that's just firing off uh, wild shots and accidentally hits Carl is what I think is going to happen. But because the wolf, when he, was at, when he had Denise and he was going backwards out of the house, I do believe that, you know, with the streets being flooded with walkers the way that it is, I don't see him getting out of that. I see, you know, the first thing that pops into my mind is him backing up, holding the gun towards uh, all of the rest of them, and Walker's getting up on him and, and biting him everywhere, and him just, like, letting her go and firing off wild shots everywhere, and one of them hits Carl. It, I don't really know the position where they're in, like, 
from where from where the wolf and uh, Eugene and all them are at, from where Rick is and all them are holding hands coming out of the house. I really don't know how far that is from each other, uh, but I would think that no matter you know, it's still right there in the in the general vicinity. So I'm thinking that you know, even if the wolf fires off shots, it would be it would be close enough to where it could hit Carl in the eye. Our core members are Atlanta Five that people everybody's talking about. Now, I don't think we, we're going to have to worry about any of them dying at least until the season finale where it has been confirmed that Negan is going to be making his appearance. So we're probably going to lose one of those five. I do believe Morgan will probably make it out of episode nine. Um, they could be building him up in such a way where it's him that Negan offs in the season finale. So um, we'll just have to wait and see. So final predictions on the episode. I think Jesse's going to die. I think Spencer's going to die. I think Ron's going to die. I think Sam's going to die. Um, it has been confirmed that this is going to be one of the most fucked up sh you know, episodes that they have written. Which, you know, kind of leads me to believe there's going to be a whole lot of deaths. Now, the cutscene that we've seen of Abe, Sasha, and Daryl when they when they met the Saviors on the bikes, a lot of people are saying that they thought they seen like Sasha jump in front of Abe like they was going to shoot Abe or something. I personally don't think anybody, any, none of them will get killed in that scene. I think they will be just fine. I think something will happen, like maybe, you know, they'll see Dwight or something else will get their attention to where they got to haul ass out of there because something else is going on. I don't think Abe, Sasha, or Daryl is going to be harmed in that scene, so... I think we're I think we're good with that. But that's about all I got for you guys. Like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have not seen my video breaking down the new AMC poster that they released about a week ago, you can check two weeks ago. You can check right there and check out all that good info with me breaking that down and my, giving my thoughts on what some of those images could mean for the series. Other than that, I love you guys. Nerdfeed.com, Dead the Zombies. You guys rock.